So what I'm going to do here um, is show you how, like now we're getting to a point in our education in this software where we've got a definition that is of a respectable size, right? This is not a simple definition, at least not for the level of knowledge that you guys have. In fact, this is quite complex. Um, I sort of pushed you guys down a road pretty far. It's one single road. There are a bunch of other types of roads we can go down. But um, I want you to understand how to work with definitions like this and how to take the different ideas that we're developing in terms of like, you know, logic and patterning and all that stuff and insert it into your definition at the right place, right? So um, what I want to show you is we have um, 16 of these um, shades, right? But maybe I don't want all 16 shades. Maybe I only want certain ones. Um, so if I want to go to, um, say, like sets, um, sequence, and let's do like a cull pattern, right? We can we can reduce some of the um, some of the pa uh, some of the I keep wanting to call them awnings or panels, but they're shades, shade, shade, shades. That's what I'm calling them. Okay. So anyway, um, cull pattern is under set sequence, and uh, it's going to ask you for, and this is very familiar now because you've seen this type of node a whole bunch. It's going to ask you for a list to cull, and cull means to like delete or remove. Um, and that's going to ask you for a pattern. So if I plug um, <coughs> um, my list of these into that pattern and then I um, hide that, then I've gotten rid of half of them. So what I would like you to do is to basically create a pattern that's going to eliminate every other awning. I keep saying awning. Shade. It's a shade. <laughs> I should have been able to get to it pretty quickly. Um, and I'm going to show you two ways of doing it, um, depending on how you want to have your definition be, like how robust you want it to be. So what's cool about, oh shoot, I actually left the video running while I did that. But um, anyway, so what's cool about the input values for stuff like this, like your patterns, for very simple things, you don't even have to have a panel at all. Um, so I'm going to go to params and go to input and show you the panel. Uh, turn off multi-line data and you can say zero and one or true and false. Um, so when you plug that in, it eliminates every other one. In this case, I have um, four panels. So it's actually starting from, I think, down here. And then it's, it deletes that one, keeps this one, deletes that one, keeps this one. But if I change the number of subdivisions to five, then it offsets it and creates a little ladder, ladder pattern. Um, so that is basically what I was asking for. Um, but also, without this pattern, this is the default, right? So, oh, okay, so it's going this way, actually. It's zero, zero, one, one, zero. Uh, oh, no, it's going, it's still going up. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Yeah. Anyway, so the pattern right here is, is can be overridden. Um, if you right click on the P input, you can actually say set Boolean, or I'm sorry, um, set multiple Booleans. It pulls it off. It pulls it off screen. Hang on. Um, right click. We're gonna say set multiple booleans, and you can change these to um, false true. Then the 
then say commit changes and it will go back to what I had before. Voila. Can you do that again? Yeah. Sorry, I have to pull the screen over because it tends to pull it off the side. Um, right click, set multiple booleans, and then click inside and just change the values that you have in here. So false, true, true, false, whatever. <clears throat> All right, so um, let me check sets real quick. We've got um, call pattern, random reduce, call certain indices. We don't really need those. Um, okay, let's not worry about that right now. So, uh, all right, I'm going to close thoughts on this unless you guys have any other outstanding questions. Yes? What's that? Scatter. Oh, um, yeah, so it, all, it just has to do with the number uh, of subdivisions you have. So if your pattern is only two values, right, and you have an even number of subdivisions, you're going to get um, something that's more regular, right? So I only have four, so it's deleting this one, keeping that one, deleting that one, keeping this one. So if I change it to five, it's deleting this one, keeping that one, deleting this one, keeping that one, deleting this one, and then when it gets back down to the bottom again, it's keeping it rather than deleting the bottom one. Does that make sense? Okay. What's that? Uh, the U count is side to side, so it shouldn't really, it's, it's really in this case all about how many are in this angle. Um, okay, let's close it up.